Hey guys, uh, good to be here for this week's Oxen Labs update. Um, lots of big things happening this week. Uh, our new session Android developer did his first PR, uh, which is big but small. As in, it's big because we have a new developer and he's starting to write code, but the change that he made was pretty small. Uh, basically just to fix up a, a little image um, display issue that was happening on session Android. Um, we also had some other big news on Session Android. Uh, the user config message stuff made it into QA. So uh, that is one of the final steps before uh, it can be released on Android. So that means two of our, uh, two of, on both two of our platforms, iOS and Android, um, the user config message stuff has made it into uh, QA, uh, which is really promising. Uh, Session Desktop is basically struggling with some compilation issues. Um, made some changes that allowed uh, libsession to compile on Linux, but, the, but then that broke it on compiling on Windows. So um, Audric's working through that now. Um, but yeah, things looking really good on session. A uh, bunch of bug fix releases went out last week, um, which I'm sure you've upgraded to. Um, and there'll be some new stuff coming out this week, specifically on iOS, just to fix up a few uh, bugs here and there as well. Um, so yeah, big news on the session side. Um, on the Oxen side, we have primarily been working on staking transactions. So Sean is now uh, working through a particular issue where um, he's able to submit a, tra a staking transaction from Wallet3, but for some reason the daemon isn't picking that up properly. So there's some formatting issue or some issue with the transaction itself that he's investigating now. Um, and hopefully we'll have a fix for that very soon. We thought we had a fix this morning, but didn't turn out to fix it. So we'll keep going through that process. Um, the LokiNet team has essentially been working on the QuickieNet. Um, spoke about that a little bit last week, essentially aiming to uh, fix up some of the issues with uh, the wire protocol inside of LokiNet, uh, move to a more generalized um, kind of protocol for transferring data in between um, service nodes and, and that having a benefit just not for not just for LokiNet but also being able to use that in other parts of the code base as well. Um, hence it's being pulled out into its own library. Um, and yeah, some some uh, performance testing going on on the LokiNet side as well, which is looking promising um, with some of the changes to the LokiNet too. Um, so yeah, I think that just about wraps us uh, for this week. Uh, lots more interesting news coming. I'm sure the marketing team will be talking about the uh, this the session, uh, the UK privacy bill article that uh, came out this week, but I'll, I'll leave that to them. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to me and my face and the Oxen Lab update from the marketing side of things. Uh, welcome. So last week uh, was, uh, well, it was a short week, actually. It was another short week because of the Easter weekend. Um, but still a lot of stuff happened, like Key jumped on a uh, Twitter spaces with the people over at Monero Talk, um, and it was a really good conversation actually with him and the Monero Talk people, the Monero community. There were a lot of good questions asked. If you haven't already seen it, what are you doing with your life? Go and, go and check it out. We'll stick it in the, in the link in the description below so you can go have a look. Um, so that went really well. Also. Um, we've got Monerotopia coming up. It's less than a month away. I think it's less than three weeks away, in fact. And as a result, we're just fully hard at work, just prepping for our involvement there. Um, just making up all of the, the talks, all of the pretty graphics, all of the business cards, all of that stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that we have to do for it. And so that's what we're doing for that talk. Um, so yeah, that's happening. And if you guys are planning to maybe be around Mexico City at the time, just like a casual drive or a peruse down there. If you're thinking, hey, I'm in the area and I might go see these guys talking there, then we've actually got a promo code that you can use. If you use session, um, you can get discounts on your tickets. I don't know how much the discount is, um, but, oh, it's 200% off. It's 20% it's, it's off. 20% off, I'm pretty sure I got the I got the signal behind the camera saying too. So 20% off, we can stick that graphic here or here, maybe here. Um, and so if you use the promo code, you can do that and uh, go see us at Monerotopia. Um, on top of that, we're also in the thick of um, 
the Oxen Refresh that we're doing at the moment as well. That's actually going really well. Um, and hopefully we might have some stuff to tease to you guys pretty soon. But yeah, it's, it's all going really swimmingly and I'm actually really excited to eventually be able to unveil this to you guys because I think you guys will be excited about it as well. So yeah, all that stuff's going really well. Um, we're also, uh, you know, thanking everyone who uh, sent through their uh, influences that they thought might be a good fit to us, to Alex. Um, he's gone through them all and added relevant ones to our list as well. Because um, on that front too, we're also still continuing our research work on the promo campaign that we're going to do once the refresh is live, how we're going out there. So we're still hard at work plugging away at that. Um, also, we've been continuing work on our community engagement plan that we want to unveil to you guys soon. Actually, hopefully that one, by the way things are tracking, we'll be able to you know, put something out to you guys for feedback next week, hopefully, to see what you guys think about it. Um, so that'll be exciting as well. Keen to get your guys' thoughts on you know, how you think that shapes out. And um, the biggest thing, I've saved for last, actually for last week, is we've been collaborating with some uh, high profile individuals in the space. Um, people over at the, the good people over at Signal, WhatsApp, Threema, Viber, uh, et cetera, you know, many more people we've been collaborating with and putting together a joint open letter that uh, the BBC is going to pick up and hopefully run with. By the time you guys are actually seeing this, it's probably already it's probably already out there. Um, so that's actually been a pretty uh, big thing for us, and it'll be really interesting to see. I'm excited to see what kind of doors this opens up. I'm sure you'll hear a future Josh talk about this, you know, about how things actually shape up. But in terms of the extra awareness that it's going to get. Um, potentially the other relationships that we can build because it's really good to see us sitting at the table with the other industry leaders in the space. Um, it's where we've all, always seen ourselves being and it's good to see us acknowledged in the same sort of space in these kind of high profile situations. So that's something that happened last week and it will shape up more in the, in the coming days and weeks as well. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for you know, things that happened you know, on our side of the fence on the, the hemisphere down south last week. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.